ActiveX data objects. In computing Microsoft's ActiveX data objects, ADU comprises a set of component object model COM objects for accessing data sources. A part of MDAC Microsoft Data Access Components, it provides a middleware layer between programming languages and oily DBA means of accessing data stores, whether databases or not, in a uniform manner. ADU allows a developer to write programs that access data without knowing how the database is implemented. Developers must be aware of the database for connection only. No knowledge of SQL is required to access a database when using ADU, although one can use ADU to execute SQL commands directly, with the disadvantage of introducing a dependency upon the type of database used. Microsoft introduced ADU in October 1996, positioning the software as a successor to Microsoft's earlier object layers for accessing data sources, including RDO remote data objects and DAO data access objects. ADU is made up of four collections and 12 objects. ADU collections fields this collection contains a set of field objects. The collection can be used in either a record set object or in a record object. In a record set object, each of the field objects that make up the field's collection corresponds to a column in that record set object. In a record object, a field can be an absolute or relative URL that points into a tree-structured namespace used for semi-structured data providers like the Microsoft OLEDB provider for Internet publishing or as a reference to. That's two. Properties an object can have more than one property object, which are contained in the object's properties collection. Parameters A command object can have several parameter commands to change its predefined behavior, and each of the parameter objects are contained in the command object's parameters collection. Errors All provider created errors are passed to a collection of error objects, while the errors collection itself is contained in a connection object. When an ADO operation creates an error, the collection is cleared and a new group of error objects is created in the collection. ADU objects Connection The connection object is ADU's connection to a data store via OLEDB. The connection object stores information about the session and provides methods of connecting to the data store. As some data stores have different methods of establishing a connection, some methods may not be supported in the connection object for particular OLEDB provider. A connection object connects to the data store using its open method with a connection string which specifies the connection as a list of key value pairs, for example, provider equals SQLoLaDB, data source equals the SQL server, initial catalog equals Northwind, integrated security equals a spy. The start of this connection string must identify the type of data store connection that the connection object requires. An OLEDB provider, for example, SQLoLaDB, using the syntax provider equals a file name, using the syntax file name equals a remote provider and server CRDS, using the syntax remote provider equals and remote server equals or equals or an absolute URL, using the syntax URL equals command. After the connection object establishes a session to the data source, instructions are sent to the data provider via the command object. The command object can send SQL queries directly to the provider through the use of the command text property, send a parameterized query or stored procedure through the use of a parameter object or parameters collection, or run a query and return the results to a dataset object via the execute method. There are several other methods that can be used in the command object relating to other objects, such as the stream, record set, or connection objects. Record set. A record set is a group of records and can either come from a base table or as the result of a query to the table. The record set object contains a fields collection and a properties collection. The fields collection is a set of field objects, which are the corresponding columns in the table. The properties collection is a set of property objects, which defines a particular functionality of an OLEDB provider. The record set has numerous methods and properties for examining the data that exists within it. 
Records can be updated in the record set by changing the values in the record and then calling on the update or update batch method. Immediate, immediate. The record set is locked using the adlock optimistic or adlock pessimistic lock. The data are updated at the data source after the record is changed and the update method is called. Batch. The record set is locked using adlock batch optimistic and each time update is called the data are updated in a temporary buffer. Finally, when update batch is called the data are completely updated back at the data source. This has the advantage of it all being done in memory and if a problem occurs then update cancel is called and the updates are not sent to the data source. Transaction if the OLEDB provider allows it, transactions can be used. To start the transaction, the programmer invokes the begin trans method and does the required updates. When they are all done, the programmer invokes the commit trans method. Rollback trans can be invoked to cancel any changes made inside the transaction and roll back the database to the state before the transaction began. Record. This object represents one record in the database and contains a fields collection. A record set consists of a collection of record objects. Stream. A stream, mainly used in a record set object, is a means of reading and writing a stream of bytes. It is mostly used to save a record set in an XML format, to send commands to an OLEDB provider as an alternative to the command text object and to contain the contents of a binary or text file. Parameter. A parameter is a means of altering the behavior of a common piece of functionality. For instance, a stored procedure might have different parameters passed to it depending on what needs to be done. These are called parameterized commands. Field. Each record object contains many fields, and a record set object has a corresponding field object also. The record set object's field object corresponds to a column in the database table that it references. Property. This object is specific to the OLEDB provider and defines an ability that the provider has implemented. A property object can be either a built-in property, it is a well-defined property implemented by a due already and thus cannot be altered or can be a dynamic property defined by the underlying data provider and can be changed. Error. When an OLEDB provider error occurs during the use of a do, an error object will be created in the errors collection. Other errors do not go into an error object, however. For instance, any errors that occur when manipulating data in a record set or field object are stored in a status property. Basic usage. Some basic steps are required in order to be able to access and manipulate data using a do. Create a connection object to connect to the database. Create a record set object in order to receive data in. Open the connection. Populate the record set by opening it and passing the desired table name or SQL statement as a parameter to open function. Do all the desired searching slash processing on the fetched data. Commit the changes you made to the data if any by using update or update batch methods. Close the record set. Close the connection. ASP example. Here is an ASP example using a do to select the name field from a table called phone book, where a phone number was equal to 555 minus 5555. This is equivalent to the following ASP code, which uses plain SQL instead of the functionality of the record set object. Software support. Ado is supported in any development language that supports binding to binary CRM interfaces. These languages include ASP, Delphi, Power Builder, and Visual Basic for Applications VBA. Ado support has now been added to DBase Plus 8 with Ado. Legacy Ado NET has replaced Ado in the same way that C hash slash. NET replaced C slash Win32 as the primary mode for targeting Windows application development. Ado and ET follows the same design pattern as Ado, enabling an Ado developer an easy path forward when moving to the NET framework.